At the foot of the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela lie these vegetable gardens. Here in Galicia, as in the north of Portugal, agriculture is important, economically and socially. In both these cross-border regions, experts are working to transform and reinvigorate the soil with organic compost and man-made technosols as part of a European project. It's also possible to restore damaged soil, such as in this old copper mine, the Mina de Toro. 20 years ago, nothing grew here. Now there are trees, reptiles and birds. It was totally dead. There wasn't a blade of grass. All the grass you see is from Technosol. In this particular case, what we wanted was there for to be activity again, wildlife, to have vegetation, a productive forest. And it was successful. It's part of a joint project called Res Tu Valon, involving three Portuguese cities and four in Galicia, Spain. In total, the project has seven partners, two university laboratories and five companies, which specialize in technosols or organic compost production. The total budget is 2.1 million euros, of which 1.58 million is provided by the European Cohesion Policy. In this laboratory at the University of Santiago de Compostela, researchers receive different types of compost from organic residues, including household waste, manure and algae. They study the chemical properties of their components and their ability to react in different types of soil. Here, compost boosts a new life cycle. For example, the algae that we collect at the beach, it's just lying there, not being used for anything. And now it's been given a second use. It's used to prepare compost. So in this process, the materials and the residues are recycled and given a new value for another purpose. The results of the research in both countries are shared between all the project partners, such as here at the Portuguese waste management company Lipor, which receives 60 tonnes of bio-waste a year. The waste comes from selective sorting. It's mixed with vegetable waste and the compost is obtained after a few weeks of maturation in these tunnels. It's very, very important to have this kind of facilities, not only to have a compost, that means to recover our organic matter and return the organic matter to the soils, but also compost is a, an important carbon sink. In this border region, organic waste management is taking root. <laughs>